Phonetics and phonology are both subfields of linguistics that deal with the sounds of a language. Phonetics coming from the Greek word phonetikos, meaning vocals or phonetics. Phonetikos is in turn made up of the verbalized form of phone, phoneo, and the adjectival suffix tikos. Phonology coming from a more recent coinage of phono and logi, meaning the study of sounds. If you're new to linguistics, you've probably heard of both fields, but if you're anything like me, you're probably having trouble keeping them apart. So let's go over the differences between phonology and phonetics. To start us off, let's see how a phonologist would transcribe my reading of the example sentence, the tall batter stood by home base. Notice how the transcription uses slashes on either end of the sentence. We'll get back to that. What the phonologist did here was record the individual phonemes I used to vocalize my sentence. And it's a phonologist's job to figure out what phonemes a language has. They also describe the rules of how sounds are put together within language to form words, morphemes, and so on. This subfield of phonology is called phonotactics. So not only will a phonologist tell you if a language has the ng phoneme or not, it'll also tell you that it maybe can't go in the front of a word, or after an R at the end of a word. Let's go back to the example sentence I recorded earlier, but this time I really want you to focus on the way I pronounce each T within the sentence. The tall batter stood by home base. You might realize that I pronounced them all differently, despite the phonologist recording them all with the same exact phoneme. This is partly due to the fact that phonemes are abstract concepts or clusters of similar sounds stored within one's head. And when they are used in actual speech, these different variants of the phoneme will appear in different environments. These phonetic variations of a phoneme are called allophones, while the actual sounds themselves are called phones, separate from the phoneme. Notice how square brackets are used when discussing phones or allophones. We'll also get back to that later. So not only do phonologists have to figure out what phonemes a language has, they also have to group all of the right phones to their respective phoneme. So phonologists work with both phonemes, the abstract concept of speech sounds within our head that takes slashes in the IPA, and phones, the actual speech sounds we produce in our articulatory system, which take brackets on the IPA. Phoneticians, meanwhile, are much more interested in only the phones themselves. They are less interested in how the sounds are stored within our heads, and more interested in the actual phonetic qualities of the sounds instead. Hence, well, phonetics. Phoneticians are interested in how the sounds are created throughout the vocal tract, throat, mouth, nasal cavity, and so on, in a field known as articulatory phonetics. They are also interested in the acoustic qualities of sounds after they leave the mouth. This is acoustic phonetics. And finally, they are interested in how the sounds are perceived by the listener, or auditory phonetics. If we have a phonetician transcribe the sentence from earlier, it'll look something like this. Notice how the phonetician goes into much more detail about each of the sounds produced. Of course, this transcription method may be a bit obtuse sometimes, so they decide to ditch unneeded phonetic qualities that they are not studying at the moment. These two sounds of transcription are known as narrow transcription, with as much information density as possible, and broad transcription, where they may leave out some phonetic information. So to recap, phonology is the study of phonemes, how they relate to the phones being produced, and how they are used to form morphemes, words, so on and so forth. Phonologists will use both square brackets to mark allophones and phones, and slashes to mark phonemes. Phoneticists, however, are more interested in the actual phonetic qualities of the sounds, how they're produced, and how they are received. Because of this, phoneticists tend to just use square brackets instead. Now something to remember is that while I did just describe the differences between the fields of phonetics and phonology, they are both deeply intertwined with one another, with most phoneticians having a deep understanding of phonology and most phonologists having a deep understanding of phonetics. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my Patreon. 
Not much there yet, but you'll get videos a week in advance, and you'll be supporting the channel. And if you have any ideas for a video you might want to see, or any linguistic-related topic, leave a comment below. I'll probably make them.